You know, I get a lot of questions on this channel and on my videos and on my Instagram posts about my style. Most people see me, the way I dress, the way I look, my pink hair and just call me a drag queen and that's the end of the story. But ladies and gentlemen, I'm here today to tell you that there is so much more to the story. Today I wanted to do a kind of special video and talk to you and show you, I mean, I don't know if you care, but I care, so you know, I'm gonna do it because it's my channel. I wanted to show you a little bit of my influences because I did not come from a drag Background. Now, I started my colorful journey uh, with a little thing called Visual K. According to Wikipedia, Visual K is a movement among Japanese musicians that is characterized by the use of varying levels of makeup, elaborate hairstyles, and flamboyant costumes. Sounds kind of like drag! And it kind of is. Visual K is basically Japanese rock or J rock. And my first encounter with Visual K all the way back in 2006 was with a little band known as Deer and Grey. Deer and Grey. Deer and Grey. Now these guys have changed their looks quite a bit over the years. They don't really look that Visual K anymore in that sense. But if we look at older pictures, uh, this is pretty much what they look like. I actually think this is one of the first pics I ever saw. And you know, you can see it, it's closer to what you'd call drag than uh, other stuff. <laughs> Even though, you know, it's not it's not entirely it, but you know, it's closer. After finding out about Deed and Grey from my friend without knowing anything about J-Rock, I started researching Japanese music and I started finding all these other bands. And one of the first ones was a band called Ancafe. Ancafe, very uh, colorful, uh, more of a pop punk kind of kind of sound uh, compared to Deed and Grey who are very metal most of the time. But in particular, Ancafe's one guitar player, this guy, Bo. Let me just pull up a video. When I saw these guys first time, especially him, the guitar player, Bo, let me see if I can pause. When I saw him first time, I mean, he just looked so cute. <laughs> and like, like it's not like I wanted to date him or anything like that, but he just looked like a very cute girl. And there was something about that that was so cool. The whole magic trick of it, the transformation. And I guess that's, that's the cool part of drag too, you know? It was just really cool and I'd never seen anything really like it. And up until that point, I was already a musician now, but I, I was like a normal metal dude, you know? I listened to a lot of like uh, Western, normal heavy metal, power metal, uh, Blind Guardian, Gamma Ray, Halloween, Sonata Arctica, all those kind of bands, Aquaria. But like discovering J-Rock, everything changed. I mean, this isn't very metal, obviously, but like that same year, another Visual K band was gonna come and play in Stockholm, Sweden. One of the very first ones ever, and I went there. That band was called Aya Bie. These guys I discovered, I thought they looked so, so cool. Their whole style and everything. When I went to their show, and they did a whole show playing like, basically metal music. I mean, some, some stuff is really poppy, but some is like proper death metal. Actually, here we go. Kimi no Koto Yakusoku. This song, this music video, has been so influential on my life as a musician. Oh god, this is so good. It's so beautiful. This has been so influential on me as a musician, as a songwriter, as a video maker. I've taken so much inspiration from this video for music videos I made for bands uh, when I used to do that back in Sweden. Oh my god. This is such a good song. But yeah, this is this is pretty much it. This was um, this video was like my first real gateway to uh, what was Visual K. And I was like, holy smokes. I thought it was so cool, the coolest thing I've ever seen. Then of course we can't forget about Malis Miser. Malis Meister? Malis Miser? This band also, such a legendary Visual K band and such an influential uh, band for me, again, as an artist, as a musician. Uh, my god. <laughs> this has been, ah, oh, this has been such an inspiration to me. And their singer, obviously, Gakt, one of the most famous, you know, Japanese guys ever. However, in particular, their guitar player, Mana, who I think is coming up here, who basically, I think, pretty much started the whole, there we go, the whole gothic lolita fashion, Harajuku kind of fashion uh, movement way back in the 90s. I mean, really popularized it. Um, Mana, of course, runs a lolita brand too. Uh, and God, look, look, at the, look at this look. This is so beautiful. My God. Again, truly one of the most influential, like, Visual K bands, at least in the Western part of. Um, Visual K uh, fandom, if nothing else. Then, however, uh, I discovered another band called Hime Yuri. And this band, man, <laughs> this band is something else. Uh, especially their singer, uh, Mashiro. This guy, this guy, he is one of the coolest artists I've ever seen. His style mixed with his voice. They're also kind of pop punk kind of style, uh, but it's just, it's just the whole, the whole package, man. This is something else, really. <laughs> I can't see this band really existing in the West. 
Maybe not even in Japan these days. Here we go. <laughs> this guy, dude! My god, this brings me back so much. So like, I don't know. I guess there's some resemblance here. Especially with Mashiro and with this band. <laughs> Maybe more so than with some of these other bands. Oh my god, this brings me back! That's good shit! Oh god. <laughs> yep. This falsetto. That's the shit, Fun fact, by the way, this is the first time I'm hearing this song and actually understanding the lyrics. I haven't really listened to this song since, like, studying Japanese. That's fun. <laughs> this band, Hime Yui, I think they pretty much quit. I don't think they made much more after this. Maybe, like, a couple more songs. But the singer, at least, went on to form another band called Paradise. Not Paradise, mind you. And this band, dude. This band is, like, another level. Oh my god. This song, dude, I love this song. I absolutely love this song. I have a lot of friends who don't, <laughs> but I really, really do. It's so cool. Like the way it mixes like, like Disney fairy tale vibes with like rock, pop punk, and again his voice. <laughs> so cool. <laughs> this whole concept, this whole product. By the way, I also want to point out with Mashiro, the singer, uh, notice his um, piercing. <laughs> the one piercing in his lip. Um. <laughs> God, I love this band so much. Sadly though, I don't think they play together anymore, and I, I'm not sure what happened. They released a couple more music videos, uh, but yeah. So yeah, that's a little uh, look into uh, my inspirations, I guess, where I come from, my background. I don't know if you guys cared about this, but again, I, I get so many questions about my style, and in, instead of just answering like, ah, it's Visual K, I thought I'd give you some actual examples. And uh, you know, it's fun for me to go back to look at this. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like if you did. Remember, I have a Patreon too, patreon.com slash Endigo. And uh, thank you for watching. See you next time. Until then, peace.